Today I've put together a compilation of some of my favourite garden and outdoor life hack videos which I've made over the last few years. You can let me know in the comments which is your favourite. This time of year a hosepipe can be really useful, but if you haven't got an outside tap it can be a real struggle. Here's how to connect a hose to any tap. Just take a balloon and cut the bottom off. Then stretch the nozzle over your hosepipe, mount it in line with your tap, stretch over the other half of the balloon and secure it in place with some tape. Now you can use your hose to do all the garden jobs you want. Or even fill up a paddling pool. If you haven't got any balloons, you can cut a hole in the side of a plastic bottle, poke a hose through the bottle neck and tape it in place. And hook it over your tap like this to gravity feed water down to your garden. You can dribble feed water into your pot plants by filling up a bottle like this and pushing it down alongside of your plants. Watering cans are great, but if you haven't got one you can easily make your own out of a plastic milk bottle. Just poke a load of holes in the top and it's ready to use. In a similar way you can make your own DIY garden sprinkler out of a plastic bottle by piercing a few lines of holes down the side of the bottle. Then insert your hose, make a bung of tape around the hose and insert it into the bottle opening. Tape them together and turn on the tap. There's our homemade garden sprinkler. If you want to grow something but haven't got any pots, you can use an empty juice container. Just cut off the top and make some holes in the bottom. And it's ready to use. I planted in some lettuce seeds and watered it, then added it to my salad tent. Here's one I did a few weeks earlier. And this one is in a recycled plastic food tray. It keeps me in salad through the whole of the summer. If you've got unwanted weeds in your garden and don't want to use chemical pesticides, you can make a natural weed killer out of salt and vinegar. I used 4 litres of vinegar and a cup of table salt. Give it a good shake to dissolve the salt and it's ready to use. Do it when the weather's dry and after a couple of days it should kill all your weeds. If you're staining a garden fence, it can take ages with a paintbrush. It's a long and boring job, so to save some time you can pour a few litres into a sprayer, dilute it down a little with some water and give it a good shake. And apply it like this instead. Pretty cool, huh? It's so much quicker and it's actually pretty fun to do too. But try to do it on a still day so the wind doesn't blow the spray back over you. To get notified when I launch new videos you need to subscribe to my channel, then make sure you click the notification bell and select all, otherwise you may miss future videos. You can make your own barbecue out of a large tin can. Chop the rim off, be careful of the sharp edge and use scissors to make slices down the side of the can so it looks like this. Bend them down and line it with foil. Then add your charcoal and light it up. It makes the perfect mini barbecue. If you're having a barbecue and realise you haven't got anything to start the coals with, you can make your own fire starter by coating a piece of cotton wool in Vaseline. This burns really well and for a long time so it's perfect for starting a barbecue. Or you could use Doritos. Tuck them in alongside of your coals and they burn really well too. If you're trying to start a fire and your lighters run out of gas, you can take a strip of chewing gum and we're going to use the foil backed paper. Fold it in half and cut it so it's shaped like this. 
with about a 4mm strip down the middle. Then you can use a battery connected to the foil side, like this, to make a flame. And you can use this to start your fire. You can make your own wasp trap by cutting the middle out of a plastic bottle, put something sweet in the bottom. I'm using honey, a bit of sugar and some water. Then remove the lid from the other side and push it into the base like this. The sugar will attract wasps. And when they've crawled through the hole to get in, they'll be trapped inside. A muffin tray is a great way to serve sauces and dips at your barbecue. You can even add small salad pieces for your burgers, like cucumbers and tomatoes. You can turn these little yoghurt pots into nice frozen yoghurt snacks by making a slice in the lid and pushing a teaspoon into the carton. Pop them into the freezer. Then a few hours later, you've got a delicious cold summer snack. You can stop a frozen lolly or popsicle melting all over your kids' hands by taking a cupcake paper, making a small slice in the bottom and sliding it over the stick to act as a drip tray and help stop those sticky fingers. You can also use these papers to help stop flies or wasps getting into your drink. Keep some fruit in the freezer and use it to keep your drink cold. Unlike ice, these won't melt and dilute your drink. Instead, they'll slowly thaw and add more flavour. And if you're drinking white wine, cool it down with frozen white grapes. You can make your own cool box for beers by removing all the bottles from the box, line it with a carrier bag, then replace all the bottles and tip over a load of ice cubes. And there we have our really simple DIY cool box. Pretty clever, huh? You can use pool noodles to make a really fun garden game. Take a skewer and push it up halfway into the noodle, like this. Do the same on the other side. And push it down into the ground to make a loop. I set up two more. To make a course for a ball, you can either kick it or use another noodle to hit it through the hoops, a bit like croquet. You can use old ceramic wall tiles and black tape to make your own jumbo scrabble tiles. Perfect for a game of garden scrabble. You can cut some old rope into short lengths and join it together with tape to make your own hoopla game. It's harder than it looks. But it's a great fun family garden game. You can use a balloon, string, drinking straw and a clip to make your own garden rocket. Blow the balloon up, wind up the end and hold it closed with a clip. Next, cut off a short section of drinking straw. Thread the string through and tape the straw onto the balloon, parallel to the balloon's nozzle. Then tie the string off to a couple of posts. Release the clip and watch your balloon shoot off down the string. If you've got kids who struggle a bit filling up water balloons from a tap, you can fill up a liquid soap bottle with water and use that instead. Just pump the water straight into the balloon. This makes a great mobile supply of water and saves going back to the tap. Or if you want a load of balloons straight away, you can use some of these bunch of balloons. These are great, they connect onto your hose pipe and each bundle fills up 35 balloons at a time.
If you haven't got a washing line outside, maybe space is limited. But you can make one by tying string between two chairs like this. Instead of hanging washing over the line like this, you can maximise the amount you can hang by clothes pegging your items from one line to the other instead. If the arm of your sunglasses suddenly falls off because you've lost a screw, you can make a temporary repair by threading a piece of wire or a paperclip through and fixing it in place. Or take a wooden cocktail stick, push the end down into the hole and snap it off to make a dowel. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. You can let me know in the comments which hacks you like best. If you want to see more, you can click on the links or take a look at my YouTube channel page. Stay safe, have fun, and as always, thanks for watching.